Hey, are you still up for lunch this Wednesday? Oh, hey, I'm really sorry, but something came up. That's a shame. Is everything okay? Yes, I just need to cancel our plans because of personal reasons. Let's reschedule. Hello everyone, my name is Spencer and I'm here to teach you English and help you review the material from my book, Wanami Engage 100% Sarinen Spencer Sam Miguk Yongo. Today we'll discuss Chapter 1, Lesson 5 Canceling Plans. Yaksok Chisohagi. Sometimes things come up and you need to cancel or reschedule plans. 아쉽게도 가끔 일이 생겨서 취소하거나 일정을 변경해야 할때 있죠. When you need to give a reason, but you don't want to talk about the specific details, try using the expression personal reasons. Personal reasons. Personal reasons. 개인적인 사정. This is a great formal expression that you can use. Then you don't need to explain specifically why you are canceling or rescheduling. Add for, due to, or because to make a longer expression. 때문에 으로 은해 붙여서 더긴 표현을 만들어 보세요. For personal reasons, I have to cancel our plans. For personal reasons, I have to cancel our plans. 개인 사정 때문에 저의 계획을 취소해야 할것 같아요. This expression does draw a line to keep your relationship more distant and formal though. 하지만 이 표현은 관계를 좀더 거리감 있고 격식을 차리기 위해 선을 긋습니다. So, of course, with a very close friend, it's more natural to tell them exactly why you need to cancel or reschedule. 그래서 친한 친구한테 차라리 취소나 변경해야 하는 이유를 알아주면 더 좋죠. Let's learn some more expressions when you need to cancel or reschedule plans. 약속을 취소하거나 바꿔야 할때 다음과 같은 표현을 쓰세요. When you need to cancel or reschedule, it's best to start with an apology. I'm sorry, but I need to cancel. I'm sorry, but I need to cancel. I'm sorry, but I need to cancel. 죄송하지만 우리 계획을 취소해야 할것 같아요. I'm sorry, but I need to reschedule. I'm sorry, but I need to reschedule. I'm sorry, but I need to reschedule. 죄송하지만 우리 일정을 변경해야 할것 같아요. Adding really shows more sincerity in your apology. And you can add our plans or not since it's clear what you want to cancel or reschedule. I'm really sorry, but I need to cancel our plans. I'm really sorry, but I need to cancel our plans. A great expression to emphasize that you are sorry and you aren't canceling for no reason is I was looking forward to doing something. I was looking forward to doing something. 내가 무언가를 얼마나 기다렸다고요? Again, you could add really in front of looking forward to to emphasize it. I was really looking forward to doing something. I was really looking forward to doing something. 내가 정말 무언가를 얼마나 기다렸다고요? I was really looking forward to this evening. I was really looking forward to this evening. 내가 정말 오늘 저녁을 얼마나 기다렸다고요? There are many ways to show you are sorry in English without repeating I'm sorry. 영어로 미안하다고 표현할 수 있는 방법 하나만 아닙니다. If you express your feelings in this way, the listener will feel less hurt about the cancelled plans. 
이렇게 조금 다양하게 미안한 마음을 표현을 해보면 그 미안함 더잘 전달할 겁니다. Lastly, to fill up your native speaker gauge, here's an expression. Can we try instead? Can we try instead? Can we try instead? In the blank, you put the day or the date. 대신 요일이나 날짜에 볼까요? Can we try this Thursday instead? Can we try this Thursday instead? 대신 이번 목요일에 볼까요? Can we try next week instead? Can we try next week instead? 대신 다음 주에 갈까? If you're going to cancel plans, it's good to quickly offer another option to reschedule. 약속을 취소하면 대신에 만날 수 있는 날짜를 제안하면 더 예의 바르죠. Of course, this is more polite than completely canceling. I hope I was able to help you fill your English gauge a little more with real expressions that Americans use when they cancel plans. You can learn even more useful daily expressions in my book, 원어민 게이지 100% 사리는 스펜서 쌤의 미국 영어. The links to purchase my book are in the description box. Thanks for watching to the end, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!